This is Ken Nelson, co-founder and CEO of SciTools, the maker of Understand. I'm going to do a quick make you dangerous video of how to use Understand using the Get Ahead C++ sample project. Now, Get Ahead is something near and dear to my heart. It is an open source project created entirely within SciTools and given back to the community. And it is our best view of how you can use Git with a GUI in a way that helps you understand what's going on with your Git history. In other words, it's the same philosophy you have with source code in that understand is a maintenance and code browsing and code reading oriented IDE whose primary focus is to help you understand your code better. And really, you should only change code that you understand. If not, you're just playing with fire. So this video is a quick rundown of, of Understand on the Get Ahead project. Get Ahead was developed entirely using Understand with some caveats, for instance, Xcode on a Mac, uh, GDB and, uh, and Emacs on Linux, and so forth. Each engineer that works with us has their choice of what they use day to day. All of them use, by their own choice, Understand to understand the source code that they wrote long ago or that's grown too large for them to really understand or that they didn't write at all. So let's go over the, the theme of understand. The theme is information that helps you understand the code. Almost every pixel that we can is devoted to giving you information. Now that has some UI impacts in that we put a lot of things in right-click menus because if we had a button for all these things it would be kind of ugly but also it would take pixels away from what we really want to do which is give you information about your source code or let you read about your source code in as big a view as possible so that's the first thing information is the priority and we use right-clicking a lot maybe more than a lot of modern GUIs with the primary intent to give you space to know things. Right, that's the, the, the first theme. The second theme is that it's very safe to explore and understand. There's always a back button. So if I go to this function and I want to go back, no problem, there's a back button. I can go back forward. It's a little bit like web browsing, except that it creates investigatory paths that you can walk down and up and down and up a little bit and then down another path and then back and so forth. It's designed for investigating and thinking about code. There are many, many uh, informational components in Understand. This is showing just four or five of them. On the upper left is the entity filter. Right here, as we analyze the code and parse it, we develop a large database of everything we find in the code and how they are interconnected. That's forward and backwards. That's our hyper XREF technology. You can read about it in an article I wrote on our blog. Now, everything we know about or everything we found in the code is, is shown here. You can easily filter files, classes, so forth. So if I want to know any function that's related to SSH, there we go. Any function that is related to, oh, let's say, Git itself. There we go. So that's the entity filter. It's useful for finding things quickly. The project browser, a uh, very classic, typical source browser. Now, as I'm clicking around, you might notice something. Things are changing as I touch. That's sync. If you notice, all these views have sync buttons checked. What's happening is as you browse, sync events are created and the information in there updates to what you just touched. The idea is that as you walk around your code, as you explore, you don't have to think about getting information about something. It's pushed to you as you go. Now, as you do explore, you could create hundreds, uh, certainly 30s, 40s, 50s of open documents and we wrote the selector window to help you manage that complexity. So if you want to just know, uh, just show me all my editor windows, fine, there they are. If you want to show just my graphs, there they are. If I want to see the graph, just touch it, click, there it is. Note that 
Syncing is active in graphs as well. Touch and it goes. Touch and it goes. Now this graph is synced to itself, so if I want to just explore this graph without it changing, I'm going to unsync and start exploring. Now as we were exploring, the source code was updating here in the previewer window. It's designed to just push the definition, the source code for the definition of what you just clicked on uh, in, in a quick, easy contextual way. And it just follows you as you go, showing you the, the implementation or the definition of where you are clicking. Over in the right is the metrics browser. All entities have metrics. And if you touch an entity, then the metrics browser shows you everything we have measured about that. And it's all exportable and other things and configurable. Uh, again, behind right-click menus or uh, icons in the view, in the uh, component view. In the upper right is probably most users' favorite components, the information browser. Everything we know, or 95% of everything we know about an entity that you touch or visit or want to know about is in this view. It's fairly condensed, but it's optimized for exploring. So here I can see the parameters go down and I can see who, who uh, this function, which is a live SSH2 packet receiver, who, who it's built from in the call tree, and I can explore down to their call tree, so forth. If I want to open all of it, I can just right click and choose open all, or expand all, there they are. Same with uh, who, who uh, depends on this function, the call by. Again, we can just explore all the way down and then visit each use. Want to learn about that? No problem. And then there's always the back button. Now, finally, the way that you're going to see this demo when you download it as part of evaluating understand is the exact view that the engineer who made the demo saw before she packaged it up to put it in the the uh, install understand remembers where you left off so you can go explore something else and come back to this state and that's super useful since i don't know well, it's been a long time since i had a day that didn't have an interruption or two in it the other thing is that this is how she configured it, but you can configure it your way. For instance, I typically like the information browser on the left. Mainly because that's where it was 18 years ago when we first added it, and I'm just used to looking for it there, even though we can put it anywhere. Let's put it here. I can move the information browser here. I can make the metrics browser a little smaller. I can put the source window on the left, I'm sorry, on the right, and, and give it a little more room. I can make it mine. The other way that mm, I'd say essentially all of our engineers do is they put these views on other monitors. So they will have a, a monitor, uh, usually a vertical monitor devoted to source code, and a horizontal monitor devoted to understand information. So you can put the information browser over there, the source previewer, a graph window, the graph window that you're walking can stay there. It's very adaptable and configurable amongst multiple display outlets. So that is your quick and dirty, or maybe not quick, but certainly dirty, overview of Understand. There's a million more things to, to find in here, and I encourage you to explore. It's safe to do so, and if you have questions, hit us up at support at our policy on support is that if we're at work, you'll get an answer within an hour. That answer will either be the answer or a plan to get you the answer. So feel free to send us a note, send us ideas. We want to know how you're using Understand or ideas you have or how we could help you know your code better. Thanks. I'm Ken Nelson, CEO and founder of SciTools. I hope you enjoy this demo and happy code browsing.